Hey friends of Bedford, this is Trey and Veronica, and today we are here to talk about what is blooming with Bedford. This is gonna be something we probably do pretty consistently throughout the year, just kind of going over what we have blooming, what's looking good, what we even recommend planting, because right now it is very hot. I mean, we're having heat indexes in the 110, 115 range. And Veronica over here is from Ohio, so <laughs> she's trying to figure it out. But we're all used to it. Um, and we just want to recommend some plants that are going to do well planted now and that would actually survive pretty well planted in this intense heat that we're having. Um, so over here on our right, we have a few of our annuals. Annuals are plants that need to be planted every year. They will bloom pretty consistently through the season and you'll have some good color, some good contrast for your flower beds, for your pots. Um, and a lot of these we have here are actually very drought tolerant. They love the sun, they love the heat, they can handle a lot of what we get through June, July, August, September, sometimes even into October. Awesome, love those 90 degree days in October. Um, so here we have the Angelonia in front. Veronica will hold them up for you. Um, we have a pink, a white, we have some other colors as well. There's some purples. Um, they call these the summer snapdragons. If you are familiar with the snapdragons that are planted through the winter, fall, spring, they call this the summer snapdragon. It grows very, very similar. It gets about two feet tall, around 18 inches or so. Um, blooms pretty consistently through the summer. You could actually give them a little haircut kind of later in the summer, around August, and they'll bloom again for you, kind of even going into Thanksgiving before you have to replace them again. Um, behind those, we have two different varieties of salvia. Sometimes these salvias can perennialize here. They'll actually come back, but we're not gonna promise that. These are two newer varieties from Proven Winners. On the right, we have, I think it's Rock and Deep Purple, and then on the left over here, which one is this? This is the rock and blue suede shoes, and these are real pretty because they have these uh, black calyxes on the stems, which also come out to the very contrasting flowers. Um, the blue and the purple, very pretty, very fun. They get about three feet tall, um, two to three feet. They bloom nonstop. You can cut the flowers off and they'll bloom even quicker. Um, look really good in containers, the back of the flower bed, center of the flower bed, kind of wherever you want to put them. And they love the heat. You could plant them now and they'll do great. Um, in front of those, we have our lantana. This is kind of a newer variety of lantana. Most of you are familiar with the, the new gold and the red spread, Miss Huff, those very large growing lantanas. We grow a lot of what they call the lucky variety or shamrock varieties that stay much smaller. They only get 18 inches, 14 inches or so. Um, very compact, very tight. Flower nonstop through the summertime. And if you've planted lantana before, you know it can handle everything Augusta weather throws at it. Um, it does great. We highly recommend it. We carry it in pinks, whites, reds, oranges, um, so many color variations. So whatever kind of combination you're going for, we have something that should work. And then up here on the front, we have our pintas. Um, Pintas are not as common, but I, they should be because they bloom fantastically here. They bloom all summer long, just like the salvias and the angelonias. You can kind of give them a little bit of a haircut after this first flush of flowers. And you could already see actually on the backside, all these new buds are actually coming through as well. Um, we do the Lucky Star varieties as well as the graffiti and the butterfly. Um, so they range anywhere from like 18 inches to two feet in height. Um, and so they look really good in flower bed combinations. They give you a lot of flowers and it's actually a pretty big flower. Right now in this four inch pot, it's not as big as it's going to be. I mean, sometimes they could be three to four inches across. Um, a really good flower for the flower beds. And last but not least of our annuals, we're doing 10 total, by the way. We're doing five annuals and five perennials. Just wanted to throw that in there. We have the Suncredible Sunflower from Proven Winners. And as you can see, it is actually incredible. It gets around two to three feet tall and it branches very well. It's more so used in flower beds and containers than it is used for like a, a cutting garden sunflower that you would usually see um, grown from seed or if you're growing like fields of sunflowers. Um, it's very well branching, stays kind of nice and compact around that two to three feet range. Blooms very consistently and even if you cut off the flowers pretty well also, it'll bloom nonstop. 
Um, so we highly recommend it. It would do really well planted now. I mean, you know, sunflowers can be planted kind of consistently throughout the summer. So we, we really like this one. Um, but Veronica's gonna talk a little bit about our perennials and what she recommends to do very well here during the summertime. Okay, we're gonna go over perennials now, our top five picks for the heat tolerant perennials that do well here. And with us, we've got a little helper. This is the newest member of the Bedford family, Puppy. She's just gonna hang out and chill. This is Trey and Alyssa's new puppy. <laughs> All right, so first pick is um, this Russian sage, also known as a um, sage device by Proven Winners. This one is great because of A, the color, the long lasting purple color that it is. It kind of duplicates a uh, lavender, if you will, um, only it's almost, in my opinion, better because it's drought tolerant. It does well here in the intense heat. Um, it's a good transition between really summer and fall because it, the color just lasts all summer long no matter how, how hot it is. Um, this one in particular too, if some people don't like that very intense aroma of Russian sage, this one actually, the specific one by Proven Winners is actually not as fragrant. So if you all don't like the Russian sage smell, this is actually a really good substitute. Um, you can plant them together and create a hedge, if you will. You can cut this back, it'll rebloom so long. So that's top pick number one. Pick number two is Allium. Here we have the Serendipity by Proven Winners. Um, this one also is great in the intense heat. Um, it has a lovely lavender color. Um, these are ornamental onions for those that don't know. Um, they probably, they get about two feet in height. Um, so this is great for in between a backdrop and a ground cover. Um, adds a very soft lavender color. If you smell it, it has a very strong um, onion scent, so, which is great for deer. Actually, a lot of these that I'm gonna show you are deer resistant as well. So I know we all love those deer resistant options. Um, so that's a great one too, option number two. Option number three, Black Eyed Susan. Here we actually have two colors. This one is the Indian Summer. It's a brighter yellow with the brown center. Um, these are great backdrop for the summer to fall transition. This one is more of a brighter yellow, and this other one over here is a softer yellow, and this one is the Prairie Sun. Um, a little bit smaller flower head too. This one has a green center, so it's a little bit softer if you don't like the intensity of this bright sunflower yellow like color. Um, these are great for cut flowers. Um, they are great for uh, <laughs> they are great for deer resistance as well down here in Augusta. Um, these are great, also heat tolerant ones as well. They will blo start blooming as you can see right now. Start blooming and they'll go well into the fall and they'll rebloom if really you trim. Yes, really late fall, probably like November. All right. And then next up we have Echinacea, one of my favorites, also known as cone flowers. We have a variety of colors here, um, even more than what you see here. Um, we've got this puff vanilla, we've got the wow white, and we have the wild berry. These are great for um, butterfly gardens, actually, one of my faves. Um, they are great pollinators, they're great nectar source for those butterflies who need to keep up with their eating. Um, these are great because they don't get super tall. They probably get about 18 inches, maybe two feet at the most. Um, they, great, they are great cut flower. Um, they're very hardy, very heat tolerant, very drought resistant, and also another good option for a deer resistant plant. And I love it. It comes in a array of um, colors and varieties and styles too. This puff vanilla is great because it kind of blooms upside down, if you will versus a lot of the echinacea, which just bloom upright. Um, so this is another great option too for the summer to fall transition. And then, last but not least, we have sedum um, and stone crops. These are probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest fall blooming heat resistant <laughs> plants out there. Um, here we have the proven winners. Um, Boogie Woogie, 
And then here we have the classic Stonecraft Autumn Joy. This one is a great, beautiful bloomer with this beautiful kind of puffy, pinkish reddish color and it transitions um, and changes in, uh, into the late fall. The color will change and go into more um, deeper color. <laughs> Um, this one blooms yellow, so if you like a um, if you like a more lower ground cover, this one's great. I love the variegated leaves on it. Um, this one is a little bit lower than the stone crop. Stone crop gets yeah, almost to be 18, 14 inches, 18, 24 inches. Sorry, um, this one's lower. I think about a foot at most. Um, these are also great heat heat tolerant do very well in the the fall and they'll bloom late i probably november december um yes and do very well in poor soil too which as we all know that's just how it is here <laughs> the clay and the rock gotta love augusta um but yeah those are our top five picks for perennials um thanks for joining in kids and we'll see you next time <laughs>